there is a big decision, a, a big argument going before the Supreme Court. I want to talk about that because it could have some far-ranging implications. Uh, the owners of Hobby Lobby mm -hmm. are saying that they're totally against some of the Obamacare's mandate on uh, birth control because especially the morning after pill and those, they think it, it violates the religious freedom. How strong of a case is that? Well, if we're trying to predict the court, I would say it's a jump ball. It really could go either way, which is part of the reason there's so much emotion around this argument today in, in front of the court, right? There has been no clear line that has been drawn yet about exactly how far an employer's rights go in deciding some of the personal practices of employees. Should the boss say whether you get birth control pills in your health insurance plan? And it's a very emotional issue for people. Well, do you think this could very well define religious freedom in this country? Well, it would define how far a company, a store, a, a, an employer could go. For instance, what if, what if a, a dry cleaner said, we don't want to uh, allow people to come and be our patrons if they live together out of wedlock, or if they're gay, or if they practice, if a woman works, maybe we don't approve of that. I, I think many Americans today say, whoa, hold on a second. Those are decisions I should make for myself. I don't want my boss deciding it, or my merchant deciding it. That's really where the argument it goes. It kind of reminds you of the situation in Arizona a few weeks ago, and, and how you know so the employers were coming up and saying, hey, I, I don't want to service this person mm -hmm. because of their, you right. know, their backgrounds, their sexual background, their, uh, and what they chose in their life, and in that particular stand. But now supporters of this mandate will say to you that this really goes beyond religious rights. This is about women's rights. And, and even further than that, this is about a health right when it comes to women's access to birth control. Um, is that what's at issue at the heart you, of this you, as well? You, you, you put your finger on it exactly. Those are the two colliding values, right? And, and, and if you look at the polls today, a vast majority of Americans believe that birth control should be open and available and legal and accessible, even among religious groups, Catholics, my own, my, my own religion, huge percentage of Catholics support that today. Mm -hmm. And so it really is tossed into the lap of the court. And the arguments are going to be very interesting about how do you balance those two rights. And I got to tell you, I'm not sure I know how the court's going to come out on this. Well, we are watching closely because, it, like I said, this is a big, going to be a big decision if one is indeed made today. Right. And one of those cases that affects real people's lives.